it is guys, it's Boy Blast from Sage D, and today we're going to watch the 10 most disturbing television commercials. If you guys want to check out the original video, the link is in the description. As always, let's get it. The business world is tough. Company advertisements are the biggest way to gain attention, and more importantly, business. However, it's not that easy making commercials that really catch the viewer's attention or interest. So, sometimes they will go for more shocking or disturbing images and footage to really catch your attention. And here are 10 of them. Number 10. This 1980s commercial was originally created to help sell a certain candy, chocolate eggs filled with a surprise item inside. It features a nightmarish Humpty Dumpty knockoff that Italian candy company Ferrero believed would sell the product. The company's CEO at the time, Michelle Ferrero, apparently didn't realize that an increase in sales wasn't linked to the emotional scarring of children. Kinder Surprise eggs have been banned from the United States due to an FDA ruling banning candy with embedded non-nutritional objects. The fine for violating this act is currently $2,500. Kinder. That's it? Me on Scrabbly. Chocolate to me! Double chocolate to me! Pop swabble! Joy! Yodel yum and choco scrub with multi-pot What the fuck is a grub? Now, Snuggle! Number 9. This commercial was actually a PSA warning against the dangers of drunk driving, produced by London's Department of Transportation as part of their Think campaign. The campaign's aim is to stop drunk driving and related deaths by any means necessary, including scaring unsuspecting strangers. This commercial packs several jump-worthy moments in that several quote-unquote drinkers visit a bar restroom and end up cowering in fear from the bloody mannequin heads that have been smashed through the mirror from behind, accompanied by the sound of an actual car crash and hail of screams resembling the outcome of a DUI incident. The video quickly went viral, racking up hundreds of thousands of views in just a day. However, you can see they did not at all send the right message. Ah, oh, fuck. We're fucked. Man, that's just not funny, man. That's Number fucked eight. up. This disturbing commercial was released by a small ice cream shop in Philadelphia. This commercial features an asexual non-human named Malcolm who is apparently made out of ice cream. Over the course of the video, we watch in disbelief as Malcolm consumes himself with a spoon. When asked about the commercial, company co-founder Pete Angevine told Philadelphia Weekly, I came to realize that ice cream is a blank canvas and you can just let your imagination go wild. Whatever that means, Pete certainly seems to have an active imagination of his own, to say the least. Little Baby's Ice Cream is a repeat offender, apparently having decided that one commercial starring the self-cannibalistic Malcolm just wasn't enough, so they made another. There's good reason for my glistening skin, and how I shine and how my pores are so clean and clear. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me light on my feet. I spring from activity to activity. I love my job. I love my life. When you eat little baby's ice cream, You'll wink, and nod, and hug, and high-five each other with great enthusiasm. This the is a special time. The Little fuck we ice will! Cream. Ice cream is a feeling. Nigga! What the fuck was that? What the fuck is this bullshit? Number you don't need babies for 
ice cream? Number seven. What? Believe it or not, what you're about to see is a phone commercial. It's actually part of a series of commercials from 2011 by UK mobile phone retailer phones for You. The campaign was created with the hope of the shock of the commercial widening the retailer's demographic and generating controversy that would lead to more overall awareness of the company and increased potential sales. Fuck! Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. Number 6. Ghost Car is a commercial one. made in Berlin in 1999 for German soft drink company Kaffee, created by advertising agency Jung von Mott. The I'm so glad that I've seen this one before, because this commercial, if it's the one I'm thinking it is, contains probably the most bow-emptying fucking jump scare in your life. But... I already know what's gonna happen, so it shouldn't scare me. Video all. hit the internet in 2005, where it became not only one of the first viral videos on YouTube, but one of the first videos ever actually uploaded to the website. This video is a screamer video, following a similar formula to other Kafee commercials, starting with peaceful footage of everyday events, only to be disrupted by a zombie screaming loudly to make the viewer jump. It was a surprisingly effective campaign. Yeah, I've seen that shit like five times before. Still fucked up though. <laughs> Did not know that that one was gonna happen. Shit. <laughs> Fucking douchebags. <laughs> Number five, NES commercial. This is a vintage commercial for the Nintendo Entertainment System, where various video game characters, including the Duck Hunt Dog, were basically taunting the viewers in unnecessarily demonic voices. It scared so many children watching that Nintendo had to stop airing the commercial. Dumbasses. Just remember, this got past a team of marketers who thought this was a good way to sell the product. That one's not really that bad, you know what I mean? But if I was a kid, you know, a lot of shit scared me as a kid, so this probably would scare the fuck out of me if I was like five or six or seven or some shit. With that being said, this shit reminds me weirdly of uh, fucking um, Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, like, you know, the happy looking cartoon, but it's probably going to kill you in your sleep type shit. Number four, Finnish organization Fragile Childhood, which fights parental alcohol abuse, titled a series of PSA commercials, Monsters, in which parents are seen as disturbing and nightmare-inducing monsters through their children's eyes when they drink.
God damn. Doing too much. That rabbit one in the beginning was fucked though. I don't fucks with rabbits. Number three. You know you've stepped into dark advertisement territory when a parental advisory warning flashes across the screen. Autoway Tires, a tire shop located in Japan, takes it a step further and displays a health warning that reads, Not for the faint of heart. Please refrain from watching the content if any of the following applies to you. Have any mental or physical health concern and may have to see a doctor regularly. We shall not be liable for any injuries, illnesses, and damages claimed to be caused by the watching of the content. Despite the commercial's shocking nature, it's actually a clear forewarning of the dangers of driving on icy winter roads when you don't have proper tires. However, many people who watch the video find themselves so shaken by what they have just seen that they don't even notice the tagline and product details at the end, really missing the commercial's message. The commercial has since been dubbed one of the scariest ads ever. Is it really that bad? It was that bad. It was that fucking bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. These motherfuckers need to be shot. Who puts this on television? This is not a way to sell anything. Unless you're selling adult diapers because I think I need one. Right now. Some fucking crazy bitches. Number two, the, the origins of Ronald McDonald can be traced back to 1960s local radio personality Willard Scott. Willard was already known for playing Bozo the Clown on TV in Washington, D.C. from 1959 to 1962. He once even claimed to have created the Ronald McDonald character in an excerpt from his book, Joy of Living. At the time, Bozo was the hottest children's show on the air. There was something about the combination of hamburgers and Bozo that was so irresistible to kids. That's why when Bozo went off the air a few years later, Willard was asked to come up with a new character to take Bozo's place. So he came up with none other than good old Ronald McDonald. In the years to come, Ronald indeed replaced Bozo, but he could not rid the world of the terror that clowns instill in children and adults alike everywhere. The first McDonald's ad featuring Ronald aired in 1963. And this ad did nothing to help that. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger eating as clown, Ronald McDonald. Now where is that clown? Oh, Ronald. 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 Hey, Ronald. Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Now, come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV. We'll have lots of fun. <laughs> He's Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown. A McDonald's driving restaurant is his favorite place in town. Number one. Crinkles was the 1960s mascot for Post's Sugar Crinkles Rice Cereal. He promoted a balanced breakfast that would keep us fueled for the day, which, you know what, seems a bit hypocritical for a creature who so obviously fueled himself on the fears and screams of children. You would think that a black and white commercial wouldn't be as scary as its colored counterparts, but the lack of color actually does nothing but contribute to its creepiness. Believe it or not, Crinkles wasn't even the company's most controversial spokesman. He was actually created to replace the serial's previous mascot, a stereotypical Chinese boy named So High, because he could only reach So High. Sohai was quickly removed from cereal boxes and commercials after it was quite rightly pointed out that he was the most racist thing. The owner of Post at the time, D. 
deemed crinkles a safer alternative. Kids nightmares beg to differ. Breakfast! I'm hungry! Take it from Carinkles, that's me. The best breakfast under the big top is post sugar rice Carinkles. So crinkly, so delicious, so different. Each grain of rice in sugar rice Carinkles is carinkled with honey and sugar. It's so good, I crinkle every time I eat it. Yep, no matter what other rice cereal you've ever tried, you'll love post sugar rice Carinkles best of all. Honey and sugar make it different and wonderful. A circus of fun to eat. So you crinkle on down to the store for post sugar rice crinkles, the greatest cereal treat on earth. I hate motherfuckers who be in a commercial using the name, using their name or the name of their product as verbs and shit. Hey man, why don't you go ahead and ice cream down to the gym and ice cream yourself a big bowl of ice cream. We're all ice creaming tonight. I can't, man, you son of a bitches. But yeah, man, that shit with the ghost bitch on the road, the ice, what the fuck that got to do with tires? Are, are they, do they mean that you better have chains on your tires because you're going to need to peel the fuck out? when a ghost bitch jumps on the hood of your car? Because if that's the case, I can see them selling it that way. Other than that, just like the dude said, I was so scared, fuck, let's buy the freaking, the, the shit in the commercial. I'm not thinking nothing about what the actual message is. <laughs> that's like watching a commercial where a dude brutally murders like seven people, extremely realistic like, and then at the end, it flashes on screen, got milk? Like, no, nigga. Like, that's not, that's not the way that should work. <laughs> but yo, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this commercial any as much as I did not enjoy this commercial. Because it was scary, it was literally scary as fuck. Um... <laughs> if you guys did enjoy it, man, or you guys want to go and scare the shit out of yourselves, yourself, then click the link down in the description to lead you to the original video. Uh, <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. As always, your bullet blast from Sage D. I'm about to watch some Vine compilations, man, because that, that, that jump scare shit was the scariest bullshit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Make sure to check out my prank channel. I'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week as this one you see on the left. Click the annotation if you want to watch that or look in the description where I'll leave a link for the people who are on phones. And as always, Blasphemous HD out.